Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to start a new tutorial series in which we will learn about databases and SQL Server in detail. Now, the first thing we need SQL Server on our machine. So, let's go to browser, fire up a browser, and now we will search here power is cable server download now I'll go to this first link microsoft.com and I will click on this now we are on microsoft.com and here when if I if I go down I have these uh, developer version of SQL Server and this express version of SQL Server. So this express server is free to use but it has some limitations. You cannot make uh, databases that exceed uh, 10 GB. Now this developer, op uh, developer edition is also free and you can uh, create uh, a database of unlimited size in this so we will use this developer version now I'll click on this download now now the XZ is downloaded so I will click on this and click open I'll click yes and now the installer appears now it gives us some options you can uh, select the basic installation you can customize the installation as well and you can uh, download the SQL Server setup files and you can install it then offline so we'll select this uh, uh, basic installation and now we have to accept this uh, uh, license terms and so I'll click this accept and now uh, you can browse uh, the location where you want to install uh, this uh, SQL Server database engine so you can browse it and you can install it and you will then click on this install to install it now I have already installed uh, SQL Server on my machine so I'll close it down now we need another uh, software as well to use with SQL Server and this is and that is uh, uh, SQL Server Management Studio so I can search it by SSMS and now if I click on this first link it will take me to SQL Server Management Studio and if I click on this it will start downloading here now I have already downloaded and installed uh, SQL Server Management Studio so let me take you to uh, SQL Server Management Studio so here I will search in SSMS and it will appear here now I'll click on this I'll close this uh, browser this one as well now it will take some time to open now our management studio is open so you can uh, you have different drop downs here so in this first drop down we have this uh, database engine analysis service reporting service integration service and azure ssis integration runtime now you can connect to these uh, services as well but for now we will select this database engine and we will work with it now here you specify the server name so if you have a local installation then you can uh, use a dot or your uh, computer name so you can uh, get your computer name from uh, uh, system information so if I this is my system name so I can copy this and I can use this as, a, as I can use a, a dot because a local installation is repaired by a dot now if you are working with a remote uh, database server on another machine then you have to specify the uh, IP address of the 
machine here now the authentication type you can select windows authentication and SQL server authentication we will work and uh, learn about this uh, SQL server authentication in a later session now in uh, SQL server authentication you have to provide a username a pa and a password now in window authentication you do not need to provide a uh, username or password because uh, you have already authenticated authenticated uh, when you log in to this uh, windows machine now i'll connect to this uh, server by putting a dot here and then connect because i have installed uh, sql server database engine on my machine on this machine so that is why i can connect with a dot so if i click on this connect it will automatically connect and let me show you uh, how you can uh, uh, connect by uh, a server name so if i click on this connect and database engine and now if i click here and uh, this is my computer name or my system name so if i click on this and then click connect now you can see that we will connect automatically now if i connect again and you can see that we have this window and SQL Server Authent uh, Authentication. You select this uh, while installation that you want to max mood or you want only window authentication. You can change it after installation as well. So I'll connect to this database and let me show you. Now we have these different panel, uh, panels here. And this is uh, this file menu, edit, view, project, tool, windows and help you can have a query here so for a query you have to have a database here and this now we have this master database and where it comes from it is automatically created when you install uh, sql server these are uh, must for um, SQL server working so we have this uh, master database by default this uh, model database msdb and temdb that they come by default when you install sql server now if i come to this object explorer this window is called object explorer now we have databases now I can create a database here. You can see that these are system databases which automatically create when you install uh, SQL Server. And uh, this is the security tab. We max logins here. Roles, we provide roles to user here. And this is, uh, uh, and then we have these different tabs. Now we will learn about these in details in a later session. Now, uh, I can write uh, a query here, select static from master database. Now, I can change the tip database from here, this drop down. I can change it to this login FDB. I can, now you can see that it is showing error. Now, if I go to this master and it will show you because a master is a database and you have to provide a table name so that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment in in our next new video we will start creating databases and we will work on uh, stored procedures and queries so please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.